Okay, under the monitor on-screen display, you have a couple of different options of what you would like displayed on your main monitor. Okay, if you'd like the camera title displayed, you could check that. Your date and time, you can check that box. Your playback date and time, you can check the box. Your playback status, your event status, your hard drive status, your text insert, and then last but not least, you have your main monitor type. Okay, you'll see under your main monitor type, you have the two different options of VGA or BNC. If you're using one or the other, you want to make sure that you choose under your main monitor type which particular monitor you're using. If you're using both the VGA and the BNC simultaneously together, it does not matter which option you have cho chosen in this field. Again, the only time it does not matter is as long as you're using both at the same time. If you're using one or the other, make sure you come into your display menu and you choose which main monitor input you're using, whether it be VGA and or BNC. Okay, and then under your main monitor sequence, this is where you would set up your sequence steps if you're using the sequence on your main monitor. Okay, you'll, you'll see on to your far left column, you have your steps, 1 through 20, or 1 through 10, and then 11 through 20. Your next column is your camera column. So you can choose which camera you would like displayed. So step one could be camera two, step two could be camera two. And then last but not least, you have your third column, which is your dwell time for each particular step.